I'm keen to hear because clearly you've done a, a phenomenal job of, of getting people behind your cause so that you could have the impact that you that you have. What what are some of the key strategy or, or strategies that you've used to to get people behind you on this cause? Yeah, look, it's been a really interesting journey. And I think um, the biggest, single biggest challenge that I've had is making people care about a beneficiary that really they can't see and generally they can't meet. Of course, there are opportunities to fly over to Uganda, but it's not every day that people can jump on a plane and go Mm. over to Uganda to meet the children whose lives they're changing. So it's really about ensuring that we can create connection and community, I think. And it's been a really powerful journey learning how to tell stories and learning how to emote um, and get people involved in something that's far bigger than themselves. So helping people to find purpose in giving back. And I think, you know, that's been really interesting because, you know, we've tried different tactics. We've had to really think about it. But I think ultimately people want to be part of something bigger than themselves and people do yearn for community and connection and I think what I can offer in the charity is not just a tax deduction but also a feeling of being something you know part of big something sorry a feeling of being part of something bigger than yourself and you know Mm. for example we have a sponsorship program where it's a one-to-one and you can sponsor a child and then you get a video you know about the child you can write letters to the child it gives you an experience it gives you a shared opportunity to both give an insight into your world but also get an insight into their world and how can you create a connection so it's been interesting i think we're really lucky with the power of social media and digital i think Mm. we've you know managed to bridge the gap quite well because of course you know the location of uganda is so far away and there are so many differences between our cultures so yeah i guess storytelling has been a really big part of it absolutely yeah i think that it's great to see and and we're seeing it in um, with individuals giving to you know organizations such as yourself a lot of the a lot of entrepreneurs uh, these days as well are, are using business as a vehicle to have an impact getting behind sort of sustainable development goals and and a lot of investors mm. as well are using investing to in, invest socially responsible support industries that are they see as the future or or positive for for the planet so it's great to see and i think that there's a lot of um stats i sort of geek out on the um, the behavioural yeah. finance side of this stuff, but giving is one of the few things that, or maybe the couple of things that you can actually spend money on that does alleviate, uh, that does increase your happiness. Um, yeah, absolutely. Get caught in that consumption yeah. trap, and it's like bigger houses and better cars. But the stats show that it doesn't doesn't actually. Um, do anything for our real fulfillment and, and satisfaction with mm-hmm. our lives. So, um, it's a, it's a great trend to see. Yeah, I think it's been really, that's been a really big awakening for me. And I think the generational shift as well. I, I meet a lot of high net worth individuals and a lot of their, their goals are to engage their children in, in giving back and being a part of something bigger than themselves from a young age. And so we are noticing a, a shift as well, even just with millennials and the purpose that they want to be a part of. You know, they want to be working for an employer that cares, not just is, you know, totally driven by profit and it's really nice to see that there is a movement towards you know social change and social impact yeah it's great to see i just did uh, i i i just did this series on the podcast for around all around ethical investments and it was really interesting talking to some super senior economists at um these bigger firms that support these things that show that how capital moves is what's going to drive really drive the um yeah, I suppose economies are of the future and uh, I'm certainly noticing we work with a lot of younger people like the millennials and, and Gen Xs and I'd say that there's a, an enormous difference and, and, and the older um, investors, are, certainly it's not, not a consideration for them but now where people are really saying, well, this is actually my responsibility to um, get behind this and, and make sure that yeah, my capital is is invested in a way that is is making the world a, a better place.